so happy you're here. Today we are going to make Victoria's 24-hour salad. The reason I call it Victoria's is it used to be Betty's. I got the recipe years and years ago from Betty Crocker recipe uh, cookbook and I have made it every single Thanksgiving I think for the last 20 years and my family is like, we don't want salad. We have turkey, we have stuffing, we have cranberry. Why are you making a salad? Because I want salad. If you like having salad on Thanksgiving, this is the perfect recipe because you make it a day ahead, hence the 24 hour salad. You don't even have to mess with it on Thanksgiving day. So let's jump right in and get started with the dressing. So I have, I have some mayonnaise, which of course all good dressings have mayonnaise in them. And then I have some dill. Now fresh dill is what you're gonna really wanna use. I unfortunately did not get it from the store, so I'm using some dried dill. You can use dried dill too. In the recipe, which will be linked below, I'll put in there how much dry and how much fresh, if you, so that way you, you'll know. And I've got a little bit of Worcestershire and maybe there might be a dash of fish sauce in there. And I've got some lemon juice. This is a pretty simple, dressing, not very, not tons of flavor because it's going to sit on top of the salad for 24 hours in the refrigerator and then all these flavors are going to meld together when you mix it together right, right at dinner for on Thanksgiving Day. Okay, I'm going to put just a smidgen of salt and pepper in here. Mix a little more. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside and we're going to build the salad. So for the salad itself, it is a layered salad and we start with greens. I've used iceberg, romaine, and baby spinach. You can use whatever you like, maybe some green leaf, maybe some red leaf, just about any green. So I have about four cups in here. And so one thing's a little bit different is I'm gonna salt and pepper, not heavily, very lightly, the greens before I layer all the other veggies and yummy stuff on top of it. And I'm gonna get my hands in here and mix this up a bit. Okay, so the layering is, <clears throat> there, there's, a, there's a method to the madness here. You want to get some of the heavier stuff on the bottom. Now the original recipe called for one or two of this or that. I, I decided over the years what my favorite combination is, but you do not have to stick with this. You can put whatever you want in the salad. I start with mushrooms, which I have sliced pretty thinly and I'm spreading it over the top as evenly as I can. Okay, mushrooms in, and I'm going down with some shredded carrot, which I did that um, earlier on my flat uh, grater, which I absolutely love. And I sometimes do a little bit more than I need because I'm not sure because I'm a very visual person. I like to see it in the bowl. I think this is about one and a half carrots here. So again, you know, it's not going to go to waste if you don't use everything that you, you grated or sliced. You'll use it somewhere else. So better to make more than to make too little. So the next is, this is probably one of my favorite parts about the salad, is the egg. And so I like to slice it right before I get it in here so that my yolks don't discolor. If I sliced all this earlier, by the time I got to this, I'd have really dark yellow yolks and I don't like the way that looks. So I'm just gonna mix this up in here. Now the recipe is gonna call for three hard boiled eggs, which I um, hard boiled earlier, obviously. You can use, again, as much or as little as you like. I may actually go for four. I've got four sitting here, so we'll see. That, that whole visual thing again. Okay, I'm going for four. And yeah, definitely going for four. Next, I have frozen peas, which have thawed actually. Um, you can use peas, you can probably use uh, broccoli. Um, like I said, the recipe did not call for the combination I'm making, but this is what I like, so you do you. Now that was pretty close on the peas. There, I think that's good. I have a few left over. And then bacon. Oh, this just makes this salad so absolutely delicious. And I don't have to tell you to use as much or as little bacon as you like, because it's bacon. Now the original recipe that I got this from would put, uh, Cheddar cheese, called for cheddar cheese, which of course being dairy free, I don't do and I don't care to replace it. Um, I had it before I was dairy free with cheddar cheese and to be honest, I didn't, I didn't like it. I prefer it without the cheese. It's just, it's a little weird with the cheese. Okay, bacon is in. And the last ingredient is some sliced green onions. 
I'm gonna leave a little of these because I'm gonna put some on top over the dressing um, just for a little garnish. Not that it matters what it looks like, it's going in the fridge, but I just wanna get some of that on top, get some of that green onion flavor um, into both sides of the dressing. Now that we have everything layered in the salad, it's time for the dressing. So you're gonna drop some piles of dressing around the outside, because the goal here is to make a, a, a nice tight layer from side to side on the bowl of the dressing, almost like frosting a cake. <laughs> We're gonna be frosting our salad, which is a little weird. And don't worry if it's not perfect and it's not thick um, and you can see part of the salad underneath it, that's fine. This is all about getting the flavors to meld with all the veggies. And as you mix it around, as you can see, you're gonna some of, some of your veggies are gonna move around a little and that's okay. But you're gonna to wanna to use spatula. I find spatula works better. I used to use a spoon, didn't work quite as well. And a spatula helps you get every ounce of the dressing out of the bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna get, that's a lot on my spatula there. Okay, spread that. I'm liking the way this is looking. Get that spread over here, a little more in the middle. So edge to edge, that's the key. Completely cover it. Okay, there we go. The rest of the green onions. And a lid. If you have a salad or mixing bowl without a lid, you can simply um, plastic wrap um, over the top. I'm happy to, I love these bowls, which there'll be a link to these in the description because I think you'll love them too because they have lids and they're color coded. How amazing is that? Well, I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator, minimum two hours. If, if you wanna make it the day of Thanksgiving, give yourself a minimum of two hours for it to, the flavors to meld together, but ideally 24 hours. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna eat the salad. The salad has been sitting in the fridge, melding all these delicious flavors together for quite a few hours now, not, not quite 24, because we're making a video, but if I was making it for Thanksgiving, it would be in there 24 hours. So what we're gonna wanna do now is mix it together, and then I'm gonna transfer it to a serving dish. I think this is the best way to serve it for Thanksgiving. You have all this lettuce in here. You wanna mix up with the delicious veggies and eggs and bacon, and especially all of the dressing. You want to get that nicely incorporated. Hmm. This is looking absolutely fabulous. Just I like I like it. Exactly like I like it. Okay, a little bit more mixing. I want to make sure the dressing has incorporated to all of the lettuce and ingredients and that the ingredients are nicely uh, distributed as well. Okay, I think I'm pretty feeling pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do now is do a little bit of a taste to see if I need any salt and pepper before I get it into the salad bowl. Okay, I can't wait for this. Oh. Oh my goodness, so, so delicious. The, it's very dill forward. So if you don't like the dill flavor, you can cut back a little bit on the dill. And the lemon uh, that we put in the dressing is giving it a nice, I won't say bite, it's just giving it a brightness. Because we have the heaviness from the eggs and the bacon and all that mayonnaise. So it's a wonderful, wonderful combination and balance of flavors. Okay, I'm going into the bowl. I think what I'm gonna do is this. Oh, this bowl is perfect. I was hoping it was. I added some sliced hard boiled eggs and some sliced uh, green onion, just for a little bit of garnish. If you were using the fresh dill, which I would have if I didn't forget it at the store, you could put a little bit of that on top. I would not use the dry dill on top as a garnish. It's a little bit too strong of a flavor. So there you have it, a 24 hour salad. You can make the day before, mix up on Thanksgiving, serve it, and it's something you didn't have to spend time on on the day of Thanksgiving because you have so much else to worry about that day. I hope you enjoy this salad as much as I do. 
And for this recipe, you'll find a link in the description below. And you'll also find all of our Thanksgiving recipes at gfexplorers.com. And check out our Facebook group at groups forward slash gfexplorers. And until next time, happy eating.